today I'm making some chocolate crinkles. This is the first time I'm going to make it, so I am excited. I hope it turns out good, and I hope you still tuned in to my video. I'll show you, and let's start making some crinkles. So, let's going to start now. I have the recipe with me, so I won't forget anything to put in this. Alright, so now... I'm just going to put some unsweetened cocoa powder, one fourth cup. I'm only making 20 crinkles, so I'm just adjusting the recipe. One fourth and one tablespoon. No, one teaspoon, I'm sorry. One fourth cup and one teaspoon of cocoa powder. I'm just making 20 because I don't uh, I don't know if they're gonna like it because this is the first time I'm gonna make it and at least it's not gonna get waste if, if ever so yeah it's just you know try and narrow and then I'm going to put one half cup of white sugar one half Then vegetable oil, two tablespoons. And three fourth teaspoon. going to mix 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 it One half tablespoon of vanilla extract. I don't want to use the mixer. You can even just, you know, do it. to make this I think as far as I'm doing it now I can say that it's so easy so now I'm going to set aside that one prepare my my dry ingredients so I'm going to put um, one half cup of flour all-purpose flour but because I don't have the all-purpose flour I'm using why do I need this? I don't need that I'm using self-raising flour so it's not one half cup of self-raising flour and one tablespoon additional Then one half teaspoon of baking powder. And the pinch 
of salt. I'm mixing the flour with the white ingredients and the red ingredients. And then just like that, we just mix it until it's well combined. See how easy it is? I think it's cheap. Just need cocoa powder and flour. You always get vegetable oil in your home anyway, so right. This is how it looks after you mix it all together that's it I'm done now I'm just going to wait for four hours and then I'll be right back so hello guys I'm back and this is my dough now after four hours in the fridge and I'm going to roll it now and then put some confectioner sugar and open first I'm going to roll it don't worry I wash my hand it's all clean this is gonna be it's going to get some and then we roll it like a bowl you just make like a bowl like that then you put it in confectioner sugar there you go okay so i can make 20 i think of this depends how big you make it Ready. Turn on the oven to 350 Fahrenheit. There you go. This is it now. And I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes. it for 10 to 12 minutes and I'll come back so here it is now after 10 minutes then 12 minutes of making uh, in the oven then that's it my 
chocolate crinkles. Mm, I can't wait to try it later. I think kids would like to try it too. What can you say about my chocolate crinkles? Yeah, how about you? Try it, guys. You should make some of this. My auntie made a video of making it. You make some and then you can open it. How about you, Seb? Is it super yummy, Seb? Hmm? Is it super yummy? Hui. Is it super yummy, cookies? Yeah, I got a little bit of this white food. You like that little bit of white? Oh, uh, white. It's mm. a little bit crunchy. It's a little bit crunchy. Yeah, it's a thumbs up. And the and the mm. All right. So I hope you like this video, and I hope you can make some of this as well. So easy, and it's so good and chocolatey. Is it sweet? Not too sweet. Alright, bye!